What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video, it's been a long time but uh, we're here straight out the gates for a tutorial on how to get the custom liveries in F1 2021. Really straightforward, if you've seen these videos before you'll know exactly how they work, it's almost exactly the same as last year but we're going to walk through it anyway. So first things first, you're going to need to download a few things, uh, three things being WinRAR, being uh, kind of an important one, the Ego ERP Archiver and also if you're making these yourself you're going to want to install the Intel DDS plugin. So on the screen now obviously you're going to have the links in the description just showing you where to exactly to download these. So for WinRAR it's going to be right here. Uh, save these all to your desktop just so you can access them relatively easy. Uh, ERP Archiver again same program made by Ryder. If you can spare any money to donate please do. He's done an amazing work over the year and it's it's just nice obviously you know he doesn't ask for any money but if you can please obviously feel free to uh, give us some donation to him down here at the bottom we've got uh, the one we want to download the most recent one hit download on that and also uh, that save it to your desktop if you don't get to do that automatically now the third and final one Intel this is something you guys are gonna have to um, install yourself obviously at the download plugin it's going to have all this text um, the download is at the top right under zip and if you want to know how to install this um, it'll be at the very top text line um, just so you guys know roughly how to do it it's really relatively straightforward it only takes a few minutes it's relatively straightforward it only takes a few minutes so you won't have any issues doing that um, just follow the instructions on screen and you'll be good to go so now the next thing is in the description there'll be a link to this 3d model nice and blank so that way you can kind of work your liveries off of here so you've got kind of a base to work from uh, if you do it in Photoshop you should have a wireframe certain versions don't but um, just going to show you kind of as a basis so you know exactly where to paint um, if you've done mods last year you'll know it's the exact same process you can work off the templates you have um, but just for reference so obviously painting here we're going to paint a smiley face on this side and an upside down smiley face uh, on the other side that way um, whatever you paint on here will also reflect on the model I wouldn't work using the paintbrush personally but that is obviously preference and that's something you guys might do so once you've got your design ready shop it on here and you're going to see that this car is going to be um, all done up in your livery it might be hard for you guys to see so if you click the little light icon move it round so you can see all the car and we're working on Yarno's uh, Minecraft livery that he used in 2020 obviously we're bringing it to the new game but now to save this when you go back onto your texture if you hit save as going to want to select the Intel DDS that we downloaded earlier uh, if it isn't in there then you haven't installed it correctly try again but it should be straightforward name it something you'll remember in this case obviously we'll name it Yarno 2021 Minecraft now here's the kind of important ones you've got a few tabs you can select the first one you want to select is color and then you've got a few options the one you're going to want to pick is BC1 SRGB and that's literally all you need for that then it will go straight away and you'll be able to save this and move on with your next thing which we're going to do with the ERP archiver so what we're going to do is open up the ERP archiver you can see there's a little application in here and now the best way to make your lives a little bit easier um, at the top if you find settings and then set your game directory now this saves a lot of time having to search for the files that the game needs uh, to be able to actually replace the textures we're using if you know where your game is saved then bar means don't worry about this part just whack it in there but if you don't the best way to do it is if you go into your game right click and then it will say open file location um, it will show you exactly where your game is stored and if you make it a little bit wider you can see the file path which you have but um, traditionally speaking your game is usually stored in the same place which I'll show you now if you go to your C drive then open your program files 86 find the Steam folder followed by the Steam apps and then common uh, you'll be able to find your F1 2021 folder click it don't double click and open into it and then you'll be good to go so now we're going to open up the folder path we need to install cars um, as it stands it's the exact same so 2021 asset groups 2021 vehicles teams and then we're gonna go on and go to the FOM car and we're gonna open up this folder and it's gonna have all these textures in now as it stands this is probably the best one to do it on so you want to find Ackerman's car and then you're gonna to want to import your livery so the reason I've chosen Ackerman is because it's an easy one for my team as it stands and then for the SFC file you're going to want to change this as well this will just be a solid color uh, it doesn't have to be anything specific I'm not going to include a way to do this it's the exact same process just one one color like in this case orange red or blue it won't make much of a difference so once you've done that you're going to want to hit file and save then that way it's actually saved in the game and then you want to go back to teams and for all the my team folders so you've got uh, four or five teams I believe my team Ferrari Renault Honda, Mercedes, etc. You want to replace them in here as well, just because depending on what car you pick, if you pick 
any car in my team it won't load so if you change them in these as well regardless of what engine supplier you pick they will all be replaced so again the exact same process through replace the Ackerman D file and the Ackerman S file uh, again uh, for the S you literally just need a solid color it doesn't matter what it is orange is roughly about matte uh, I know that's quite a traditionally a popular color so that'll be the easiest way to gauge it if you do need help of how do I do this in the I'll happily reply in the comments um, again it's exact same process with delivery just instead of a design you literally just bang on a simple flat color you can be more specific with your designs and judging from the cars in this game you have a lot more choices with chrome metallic matte sparkle and all that which I'm, I'm sure people will cover but obviously for this tutorial it's the bare bones it's it's just nice and easy but um once you're making your way through these obviously it can be quite confusing which ones you've checked to know which ones you haven't done correctly when you open it it'll be like this and it will say the mip maps don't match or something and it won't have any texture it'll just have a little block of text if you want to double check and make sure you've done everything cor correctly make sure you always check these files and then that way you'll know exactly which one has been done and if you have made a mistake somewhere or if you need to maybe go back and retrace your steps just to figure it out um, you'll know you're on the right path but um, this is can be some confusing to some people um, a lot of people have started doing this for years so they'll probably know how to do this and already be doing this um, I think I recorded this 10 minutes after the game come out um, obviously being able to see that's the exact same process the exact same car naturally the only thing that's really changed on these cars is the floor so without any dramas like that we're able to get these mods out quick and fast um, but coming towards the end now obviously going through all of them um, and there's not really many to go it's just a case of just concentrating for this little period of time and then once you've done that you'll you'll be away and flying it's really really straightforward and then I think this might be the last S file uh, we've got to install so there should be five or six you have to do overall and once you've done that again hit save overwrite that and you're good to go now this is optional this is if you guys want to um, I for Yano's car I've replaced the number 69 and um, just because with the livery design we've got if you have a number on the car then it kind of ruins the Minecraft thing down the front so how you'd replace a number is select whatever number you're going to use for your driver in all five of the folders and replace that with a blank one again it's the exact same as doing the block color except it's just transparent there's no layer there head into your game go to your car liveries um, create a new one edit whatever you prefer and if you scroll the way to the end you'll get the minecraft livery in this case whatever design you put on your car you will get there and you'll be ready to blow away in my team now again this this game's only been out for about 10 15 minutes at this point so there may be better ways to do this and better cars to pick but for the meantime this is what we've got and obviously bear in mind by replacing Ackerman's car if you do go with the breaking point after my team Ackerman will probably be driving this car so just bear that in mind guys um, as you go forward if you have any questions I will do my best to obviously get to them there's usually quite a lot throughout the year so um, yeah I hope you enjoy that guys if there's any follow-up videos I'll make sure to link that in the description as well but uh, I hope you've enjoyed and can't wait to see what kind of cars you put in the game until then take care bye bye